Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday, November 12th. Absolutely zippo going on. Uh, overnight, super, super small, small ranges. Economic calendar looks pretty sparse. We got ZEW, we got some employment indicators coming out of the UK. So I guess that's something. But again, UK data doesn't really move sterling the way it would normally, considering that we have all this Brexit stuff hanging over us. Absolutely nothing coming out of the US. Um, I guess Clarida speaking and Harker speaking, a couple of Fed speakers, but looks uh, to be very, very quiet. As you can see overnight, uh, we had a 12-point range. Nothing going on here in Euro. We got up to 43. We've been down to 26. Uh, here we are at 34. 24 hours ago uh, on yesterday's video, I believe we were at 29. Does not bode well. 128.61 in Sterling. We did zip up here uh, yesterday. But we couldn't really hold it. Um, so now we're at 128.60. Marginally constructive day, I would say. Um, but again, we don't really know what to do with um, with cable. The election is on the 12th. Uh, probably just going to avoid trading it um, unless something is absolutely piercingly obvious. Uh, and we'll see where we are going into the election. We're bearish dollar Swiss. We got a bit of a bearish day yesterday, but nothing really to write home about. Doesn't start to get interesting, I don't think, until we get down below um, 99.10. It was a mildly bearish day. Euro Swiss went left, uh, sort of mysteriously. Uh, but dollar Swiss looks like it's turned up there. You can see the Euro Swiss chart sort of broke down through this head and shoulders we were talking about yesterday. But has gone nowhere. I mean, we're 109.76. We did get down to 50, 55. But uh, back at 76 now. Um, Aussie, bit of a left hand side, but now we're right back at 50. Not much to say there. Uh, dollar CAD, same business, different store. Up to 132.50, but now uh, we're back at 35. Looks constructive, dollar CAD. Um, after a mild miss on Friday in the employment and a dovish BOC, this could this could easily float a little bit higher, but no real strong feeling in dollar CAD, so we're just avoiding it. Gold did slip a little bit more. Um, if you had bids in which we did not, you got given at 50 and 51. Um, so we'll see if that holds, kind of holding where we thought it would hold. Um, but we just weren't really on the ball with this yesterday and we didn't feel like fading gold on a quiet, quiet day. So we don't have it on, but um, Interesting that we stopped down there, down there at 50. The low in the uh, this is the futures. Remember, was 48.9 GCZ. Equities doing nothing. Looks like 3100 is going to trade. We talked about the gamma at 3100 yesterday, so I'll mention it again today. We're expecting um, or we're seeing. In the options market, quite a few 3,100 strikes, uh, so there will be gamma up there. We do like selling sort of between 04 and 06, first time up, um, just because there'll be delta uh, for those of for those who have calls. Um, and it'll be extended if it gets up there, but not really too much to do here um, in stocks. If you feel like selling high ones, wait for that reach, reach high. Otherwise, just do nothing and wait for price to confirm some sort of breakdown. Here are Boone's 
sideways now uh, for a few more days. You can sell high ones here. Uh, we talked about selling between 90 and 20 yesterday, uh, 99 the high. Same thing. You can just sell between 90 and 20 in boons. Uh, we expect another leg lower once this sort of sideways action shakes some guys out. You can see here it was sideways action. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days. Same here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You know, it takes about two weeks uh, of sideways, so oftentimes. But the risk is it also just takes off lower on news or, or something. Um, so you sell high ones and boons and you stay core short uh, as far as what we think. Dollars are, we talked about this thing uh, going much, much higher. It did not do that. It's gone nowhere. Uh, here we are again at 1484. Don't know what to do. Uh, as you can see, pretty depressing charts today. Let's take a look at dollar max. We know there's a great level, but it's far, far away. 1925 is an excellent level. There will be some money to be made around 1925. Once we get back up there, we do have a central bank meeting this week in Mexico, so let's um, let's drill down on that. If you want to want to trade the peso, I'll get some more details on that. Actually, I don't know when it is off the top of my head, but I know it's this week at some point. I read that somewhere yesterday. Um, anyway, as you can see, not much to do today. Uh, not much action in the market. Looks incredibly quiet. Uh, when it's incredibly quiet, uh, it's always safest just to do nothing, wait and watch. So be patient today. Um, we had no no dogs in any fights. Uh, we will be watching for cues from the stock market, I guess, uh, when it opens eight hours from now. Otherwise, sitting tight and being patient. That's all I got for you today. Uh, wish there was more, but can't take blood from a stone. So let's just all be patient out there. Good luck, people. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.